Hurt and Merton here again. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video here to show you guys um, my completed JMT lower. Um, I've got it all assembled on my AR pistol here, and everything seemed to fit fine. Works great. Uh, I've yet to shoot it though. But um, one thing I did want to clarify, as I stated in my first video uh, with the um, uh, JMT and the polymer 80 lowers. Um, when I initially had the lowers before I milled them out and was comparing them, I stuck the mags, magazines in, in both of them and to see which ones fit, which ones uh, didn't. And I believe I had stated that the I had a problem with the 20 round P mag. Well, come to find out, let's demonstrate here. The P mag has enough play. It comes out comes out perfectly so I'm gonna have to say and take back what I said as far as the 20 30 round PMAG not working um, and as you can see the standard issue the military tin one works great and then on my 10 round PMAG that sucker really comes out so all the mags that I have work great with this JMT polymer lower so I haven't had any issues with this yet whatsoever haven't had to do anything uh, to the magwell as far as filing it um, everything has turned out perfect with this so I've yet to shoot it put a couple hundred rounds through it and then we'll see how how that goes um, how it holds up but um, I put the anti-twist pin kit in there so we'll see how well this goes um, it's pretty badass as far as I can tell and working on it and milling it out I mean it's I highly recommend the JMT uh, it's really, really a great lower. Very stiff, rigid, and and uh, it fits all magazines that I have, at least. Um, as you can see, they all come out. So, I had to take that back, what I said. All the magazines fit very well into it. And uh, I haven't had to do anything besides just mill out the uh, fire trigger control group area and make it a complete strip lower and, and then from there. Um, here is my Ares Armor Billet 7075 lower. Uh, I got this done. I have it all assembled. Um, so it looks nice. I'm probably going to keep it the raw finish and do a raw upper and a raw rail or something and then just have it uh, clear coated. Um, keep it that nice look. Um, so anyways, this one here... Um, it doesn't have the bolt carrier group in it, but as you can see, they all come out as well. Um, except that 30 round P mag, it doesn't want to fall, fall out. But you know what? <laughs> um, when you have the bolt in there, the bolt carrier group, it helps to keep um, pressure on the bolt catch spring, and that's all actually what also keeps. Um, tension and pressure right here in the mag and it helps push it down to release it so um, my bolt carrier group the only one I actually have I have to buy a few more is in my pistol so um, pistol AR so with that one uh, I'm gonna shoot that one make sure everything's good on it everything uh, functions properly and then I'm gonna get it uh, blasted and um, Cerakoted clear or get a clear coat put finish put on it. So it's I'm gonna go with that raw finish on that one. So anyways, I uh, just wanted to clarify and state about the JMT lower Polymer lower that all the mags that I have as you can see here two 30 rounders one polymer uh, P mag and uh, one tin uh, Standard military issue and then the other 10 round P mag so they all work great on this and um, just wanted to clarify that and say I haven't had any problems with this JMT lower tactical yet. And then we'll uh, next video will probably be when you see this JMT will be me firing it and uh, and letting you guys know what I think of it and how it holds up. Uh, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, you guys have a nice day.